Hey guys, welcome back to additional amounts of pylons. I mean, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Madness Returns. It's not really in Wonderland. Now is it? Wow, okay. That was interesting. Uh, so today we're on our merry way and we're gonna look at what's in this room. I feel like it's a robot of some sort. Shit, this is the way forward. So yeah, this is shit, this is the way forward, so I'm gonna try and get back. Hopefully this will spawn me at the top, because I missed a whole bunch of crap up there. No, it spawned me over here and that's just as good. Because that means I get to go back and we get to explore every little crevice that this place the game has to. Because people often complain I play games like Call of Duty and not enough exploration. And I really don't know what the hell that has to do with anything, because I don't think I've once ever... Well, no, I've played a Call of Duty game, well, obviously. Uh, the fourth one, and then I stopped playing them all together, because they're really not my thing. Which is apparently surprising to a lot of people. I, I, I don't understand why. It's like, I favor sniper rifles, and that makes me a bad person. Oh well. But we're not, even, we're not even playing a shooter right now, why am I talking about this? Regardless of which, uh, so we got the items there that I would have missed if I had not uh, committed suicide. There really is some sort of robot thing. Oh, there's two robot things. Oh, dude, it's, it's fucking Wheatley. Or... Or whatever. Or the fucking Space Corps. Oh, yeah, that, that one's the green one. Yeah, Portal 2 references. Just what this fucking video needed. Your presence here is unwelcome. We have a mission to complete. And you are an intolerable annoyance. Some like it hot. But no one likes it this hard. <laughs> Alright. Well, this should be pretty straightforward. I'm just jumping from plat platform to... What the hell? Oh, give me a goddamn break. I don't fucking need you adding to my problems. Oh, shit me. Okay, so, apparently I can't jump while I'm in the lock-on mode. That's... I would actually consider it to be a little bit of an undersight. So, I'm just gonna fucking jump around and, and abs have absolutely no bearing on my positioning, so... Fuck it. I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds. Okay, we need to wait until we go up. There we go. And it's still able to snipe me. Okay. It's really hard to see your shadow, because it's like... It's like a real shadow. There we got it. I'm just gonna jump in the same place. Oh, well, that, that was not an effective strategy. Fuck it, let's get out of here. Oh, that worked. Okay. Whew. I went from having full health to no health. And that thing is pouring down. Hopefully that's not gonna start pouring stuff, and it just did. Wow, okay. This may be to my benefit. <laughs> Pretty much the second I see someone like you. I love this mode. It's kind of fun. Well, oh, he didn't really have much to offer me. Let's kill this guy. I do more damage in it. It is a bit of a scrub mode, let's be honest now. But whatever. I get more health out of it. Higher chance for health. Scrub mode. It's the instant I win mode of winningness. I've got the arms you need. Well, strictly speaking, the hatter needs them. Well, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to crush you.
Board industry. All right. Any goodies around here? I'm supposed to go attack the mouse. Just making sure that there's nothing I missed. I don't want any reason to have to ever come back here. You know, it kind of seems like I'd be able to jump onto that thing. I'm curious. Nope, I can't go onto it. Alright. Oh, wait. There's a flower thing here. Might as well. Unless I should have saved that, but you know. Well, this isn't a blind run, so I, the last time I played this, it was on Nightmare, and I didn't have any trouble with it. Well, I did have trouble with it, but you know. In pretty much in the same way that you saw in one of those other episodes where I did a, a montage. You know, I, I'm persistent, and eventually I'll beat it. What's this? And a bottle. Nice. Uh... Is there any reason we'd actually want to start out up there? There we go. Okay, let me just make sure that there's nothing up here. Nope, this is literally just the way out. So we're just gonna try and hit this thing. Although I may not be hitting it right now, it just... it. It appears as if I'm hitting the floor, so... Oh, here's the thing. There we go. Get over here. Whatever, I'm lazy. Okay. Ah, there's a flower here. That one I will save. There's no point in me wasting any of these things. What the hell? Why did I just walk all the way back here if that thing's just gonna come out? I'm guessing that's the whole point of this thing, isn't it? I'm just gonna take it, because, uh... There's like two more up there, which I'll save, so. So it is literally impossible to reach him. Well. Can I just go, go over there? Oh, what's, oh, I kind of meant to. Oh, wait. Invisible. That's what I was supposed to do. Good stuff. I got it. That's the whole point. That's why they put the two flowers there. So you'd go, uh, kind of figure it out, I guess. Because you're like, I need healing. I want to kill this guy first. And I'll just stun this guy while I handle these guys. No, I kind of missed. I won't lie. That was quite not the direction I was going in, but okay. And I'm dead now. That was, that was shitty me, I should have dodged that. <laughs> what? Great checkpoint system. Oh, finally, fucking Christ. Uh, I want to tell you something briefly. Um, you know those times I complained about how I'm trying to dodge the attacks of those, what, what, what are those called? Um, uh, uh, well, whatever, they're doing their attack and then I dodge towards them. Holy shit, I should probably be careful, maybe not show you now. 
Yeah, maybe I'll show you in a little bit. Just, uh... Make sure this asshole isn't gonna kill me with this thing. When I, when I get somewhere safe, I'll show you in just a minute. Hey, right, cool, there's stuff to jump on. Or not really. Oh my god, and you know what, it's, it's, this, this, this game is amplified in, in becoming like, a hundred times worse just because I'm always so fucking worried, like, because it really does send me back that far every time, and I died like four times here, and every single time, it, I always get here and I'm like, don't die, don't die, don't die in my mind, and then of course that kills me. Even though it wasn't really that hard of a, hard of a fight, you know, it's just the, the, the fact that I would have to go back so far makes it worse, and I hate that. Uh, sorry, uh, what I was saying about the dodging. Um, basically this. Um, so, you know, I was, I was for some reason, let's say, you know, this is the guy here, and I, and like, I dodged towards him by accident, which is not very good when I'm trying to dodge that attack he's doing. And so I'm wondering what the hell was up, because I'm just like, every single time. And then I tested a little bit of a theory. She dodges in the way you're facing beforehand. And especially if I'm being stunned after an, an attack, and I notice an attack coming, I'm mashing shift. I'm like, like, fuck, 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 get me out of there. And so, uh, so like, I'm looking this way, I'm not pressing anything, I press shift, I dodge that way. And you know, then again, you're kind of like, well, well, I'm not pressing down the key, so what would you know, but I'm pressing it, clearly, maybe a little bit after or something. I don't know, because I can't really, uh... I, I, I don't know how I would solve that, but it's, it's fu it fucks me up, and I know I'm gonna die more than once like that. Uh oh. So, it's not all in my head, it actually is kind of a thing, and I don't think they could have done much to actually help me with that. It's just kind of a matter of... I, I, I guess it'll happen sometimes. Setback, a minor hindrance, a trivial impediment. <laughs> I'll just move along. I'll deal with you later, Alice. You'll never stop our grand plan. <laughs> oh well. Oh, if you guys want some advice from me, don't play this on the nightmare mode. But you know what? I'm I'm hardcore, and so are you, and so you're gonna do it anyways. Right? I don't know. It's, it's, as I said, you're getting the abridged version anyways, it's like, I'm, I'm editing it out, so. You guys don't have to worry so much. Well, it looks like we're finally done with this godforsaken place. Let me in here, please. Do you need any more body parts or what? I think he's good now, right? my work and you're complete, Tata. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on.
Hey, thanks for the ride. Chuckle nuts. All right, let's go upgrade. I could upgrade the Vorpal Blade again. I actually might do that. Let's just whore out the Vorpal Blade. This is like, as I said, primary attack. Well, let's have a look-see around. That was a pig right there, so, well, maybe we can just snipe him from here. Like, I would get more damage with the pepper gun, but, uh, uh As I said, I think the more pressing enemies are the ones that I always face up close, so. It's the way, it's the way I'm gonna play it. I think that was a hint about that shit I just stepped into. Seriously? I, I ran into that? Is that the mouse talking? God damn it. Face me, you retarded mouse. Face me in combat. Or are you afraid? Also, it looks like... like I, I know this is like a rather late um, assertion to be making, but a lot of the enemies kill me in two hits. I just noticed this. This will be our macadam, our road into assemblage. Courage, Alice. I'll get this door open. Throwing a clockwork bomb in combat, it will divert enemies and damage them. Oh, right, yeah, you can use it as a distraction. So, do they, like, attack it? Yeah, they do. Oh, I guess I might as well use that some more. Works for me. There you go. Why is it always telling me Q? Like, I don't want to be condescending fuck and constantly tell you about that, but... I, I, I really didn't want to be facing one of these guys again. Wow, they, he really does, like, attack that thing. Okay, let me just make sure I dodge this. Oh, what? Did that thing really deserve your, uh, your wrath? Okay, apparently it did. And now he's bad. He has like a lot of those head things. I guess, you know, I could upgrade the pepper grinder thing as I do use it a lot of these guys. Now keep in mind though that it distracts people, probably makes shit easier. There you go. One head down. Oh, what? Yeah, I totally meant to fucking go all, like, turn backwards. I'm just gonna fucking spam it. And the worst part is, I see my health. And it's, like, low. And I'm pretty much at this the mercy of, uh... Decides to fuck up or whatever. This thing is really awkward, except especially in close quarters. I will say, like, look, I went towards him. I, I don't, I don't fucking know how to how I went forward towards him. Like, I'm, I, all I have is WASD. 
Like once again, I, I went backwards. That would have killed me. There we go. We got another head. Oh well, whatever it wants to work. Can you throw those things at me? Because I at least I'll be helping with some damage. Thank you. There we go. Uh the pressure. Seems like I spent like a fifth of the episode killing those guys. Maybe I really should upgrade that pepper gun. Fuck it, let's just do it. I'm gonna use it anyways eventually. I'm just I'm 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 just looking at the time I spent wasting my time on this thing, and so I'm gonna get the better pepper grinder. So I get, I, I, I get, they, it's faster and it fires more, so I'll do more damage with it. All it jazz. So, uh, the Hatter was just kind of, uh, dicking around while I did all this. Well, let's hop into here. Because I don't really want to follow that quack. Whoever said there is no book so bad that something good may be found in it never read Martin Farquhar Tupper's proverbial philosophy. This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? Do I really look like I know? Your judgment must be severely impaired. Well, uh, that's where we're going to wrap it up here for today, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.